All right, the DGA breaker and the SP line. This is a very flat feeling disc. It's got a pretty broad shoulder to it. It's a little bit deeper than some of the other putt and approach discs that I've thrown in this category, but you can still establish a good forehand grip as well as a backhand power grip and fan grip. There's a very good feeling of durability to this disc, a little bit of slickness, but this uh, sparkle finish looks really sharp. Looking forward to see how it performs. All right, here we go with the DGA Breaker. It is a put and approach disc. Coming in at speed four, glide of three, turn of zero, and fade of three. Gonna let it go here on a few hyzers. And see that the disc pretty much holds that line the entire length of the flight. There's no attempt to turn over or anything. Gotta say my throws today look a little sick. I think I was feeling a little bit under the weather, so the throws are reflective of that. I may have to revisit this disc when I'm back to full form. Doing a few standstills here and we see that right there was a good uh, angle of seeing the disc maintain that angle the entire length of the flight. Here's a poor attempt at a turnover. Didn't quite, quite get the angle right but that fade definitely took effect and came out. Now that's a better looking turnover there. That right there had the right angles coming out and lands flat. That right there is ideal for a nice turnover shot. Here's a wobbly anti forehand and it lands flat as well. All right, so we have the breaker, which is an overstable putt and approach disc in this SP line plastic. It felt a little slick in the beginning. This was a little bit of a brisk day with some wind, but after a couple of throws, you really kind of get used to the plastic and the feel. There were no early releases or any late releases really, which was good. The feel is very comfortable in the hand. You have some reliable finishes with this disc, even on forced flex lines like this. It's able to fight back out and get to a flat position. So it gives you that confidence that you need when you're approaching uh, with this type of disc, which is also really good. You see there that it's gonna hold up very well on some torqued over lines. On forehands, because of the slight dome, there's a little bit of a learning curve on it. Overall though felt really good. I thought it would hold up a little bit more onto some torque, although there were some rolls with the wrist which kind of may be affecting and the headwind how this disc is performing. Uh, the breaker is a very neutral to overstable uh, putt and approach disc. Um, it's mainly in the SP plastic. It's mainly used for approaching. Um, for me, in my bag, I like to use it for short drives off the tee and nice overstable up shots. The breaker gets a final rating of in the bag. The DGA Breaker is getting a final rating of in the trunk. There is nothing wrong with the fit, the finish, or the flight of the disc at all. It really revolves around my game. In my bag, I really want a really overstable approach disc or one that is slightly overstable. This falls right in the middle of those two and doesn't quite have a slot in my bag. It is suffering from being a tweener. For me, that's not the disc for my game or for a slot in my bag. And that's why it's in the trunk. The Breaker by DGA Disc in the SP Line Plastic is getting a final rating of in the trunk. While this disc absolutely had a familiar feel to other putt and approach discs that are overstable, there was just something that was a little bit off when it came to throwing it. I did get some reliable flights out of it, some consistent lines with some nice reliable finishes in the end and each and every time. It performed well into some headwind, crosswind, and tailwind, without a doubt. However, throwing other discs similar to this, like a zone or harp, there was just a little bit of a different feel. I don't know if it was the broadness of the shoulder or the depth of the disc that was just slightly throwing me off. So for that reason, I'm giving it a rating of in the trunk. We here at Ace Run Productions want to give a very special thank you to DGA Discs. They supplied us with the disc that you just saw in this latest review. You'll find a link in the description below to get your hands on the disc that you just saw us throwing in the test video. Make sure to head on over to discgolf.com to check out all the latest and greatest in DGA discs. Thank you once again to everybody there 
at DGA Discs.